Hello everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading. This is Andrea from Truth Well Told Tarot. I hope you're all well. Let's see what we have for all signs for the day. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So what do we have of the energies to come? What do people need to hear in this reading? What do people need to hear in the reading? Thank you. Four of Swords. The Emperor, the Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Magician, Nine of Cups. And we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands energy, go getting driven, confident, charismatic. We can all manifest as court cards in general readings. This will be male or female, but very action orientated. The, I think that you're waiting on something here. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign as well. The Emperor is Aries, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. Could also be, you know, um, I mean, it's a general reading. The energy is pretty empowered energy, though. Action orientated energy. There's a feeling of waiting on something here. The, the Four of Swords waiting. Taking a step back to wait. It generally isn't a significant amount of time with the F Four of Swords, generally maybe a few days. It's not a ridiculously long time to wait, but there is some kind of waiting here. Now, I think that there's something that you you want. The energies are that you've persevered on a path. I mean, the, with the Emperor energy, the Emperor can be somebody who is in charge, an authority figure, whether it's a leader in business, um, can also be very good in terms of other areas of life, other uh, other authority areas. Um, but there's just a focus in terms of, of what, of money, of stability and security and abundance is what I'm feeling here. I think that you are you put a lot of time and energy into getting something from this emperor. This emperor is likely a key decision maker, a final decision maker. And you might be wondering if what you've put time and energy into is going to pay off. The magician manifesting something, manifesting new joy. Uh, that could be attached to this here. I mean, this is a new beginning, but it can also be emotional renewal. I think that you've persevered on a path, put time and energy into, into something here. And it feels business, career, finances for me, but it's linking in with, with new joy. The Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, it's good news. You're getting your wish. I mean, these are energies is... Good news, it can be in terms of practical things, money, business, career, finances, but the Nine of Cups is you're getting your wish. You're getting exactly what you want, what you've been persevering towards. It feels that kind of new emotional rebirth, new abundance, getting your wish is, it's almost like it's within your grasp and you're just waiting. Queen of Wands might well be involved in this. Queen of Wands can hold opportunity, but may well be involved in bringing this to your door, you could be connecting to a Queen of Wands, generally very, quite a, an exciting, high energy kind of person, very confident, go-getting, social, very inspiring, leads from the front, that kind of energy. Let's see what we have with the, well, let's see what happens next. What I mean, it looks good news. What's happening next, please? Angel Spirits Guides, what happens next? The Eight of Cups, you walk away from somewhere. 
because you've got your wish. Yeah, because you've got your wish because <laughs> towards a new beginning, ace, ace of wands. Yeah, I think that you want to leave. Um, you know, this this just feels like you're either, I feel you're looking at options, you're putting a lot of time and energy towards something here and you're just kind of like, you're just wondering, am I have I done enough? The energy here is, I mean, I feel that there's something that you really, really want. And it's it's that it feels like new joy, a happy new beginning, um, but it's linked to and I feel it's linked to money, career, financial areas. The Ace of Wands can be very positive in terms of job, business opportunity, career path. Um, it can also be walking away and starting something yourself. Again, if you're just waiting on some kind of. Uh, approval I mean the emperor can be a father figure can be an authority figure who may give it be give, giving some approval in terms of money you know in some way I mean however this applies to you the ace of wands can also be about starting something new as well something that you're really inspired to start something that you're really excited to so you might be walking away and starting something yourself this will be walking away from your current business because you've got the opportunity or you've got the opportunity to start something new uh, very, very lovely energy. Um, I think that you're just waiting. And that, that will be the right thing to do here in this reading. Somebody who is putting their time and energy towards getting a new beginning and not necessarily walking away until the new direction is secured. That is the energy here. And I think that's what you're waiting on. I can't leave. I can't leave my current circumstances until I've got the other things secure. Because there is a kind of cautious energy in this reading as well. Um, but you're, it's well, it feels like you are in a pretty good position to manifest what you want here. Uh, and it looks like there will be, you know, and it's nice actually because the, the Eight of Cups, you can see the missing cup there, as they always say. <laughs> and it's again, you're getting the Ninth Cup. The thing that is just kind of leading to greater fulfillment, happiness... Again, the, the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, uh, getting exactly what you want, getting to the place where you want to be, abundance. This is the energy. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, final message. Final message. Thank you. We have Penguin, Diamond Light, Activations, Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in, yeah? We have two new beginnings in this reading. Three if you count the magician. We have dolphin. Atlantis, healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. And we have snake. Kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. The snake is deeply transformative. It's all about shedding an old skin. So you might feel this whole process is like shedding an old skin and renewal uh, by walking away from something to something else is the energy here. That's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.